Hello, this is Rich Fultz with the Illinois Association of School Administrators. And we're going to be doing a tutorial today for those of you who have had trouble accessing the IASA podcasts on the internet. What you can see in front of you right now is the IASA webpage, which can be found at www.iasaedu.org. When you go to this web page, you can see on the right hand side that there is a icon that says Dr. Voltz's podcast. If you click on that icon, the internet then will bring you to the our podcast website. This is our ISA professional development website. You can see on this website that we have a spot here where you sub can subscribe to podcasts and then we also have here a note that iTunes is required to subscribe to the podcasts and you need a QuickTime browser to listen to the podcasts. Now QuickTime will run on either a PC or on a Mac. So the first thing you're going to want to do is click here and download your QuickTime from Apple. Now again, this runs on either a Mac or a PC. So you're going to click right here on free download and you're going to wait until that gets installed on your computer. Now the other thing you're going to have to do if you're going to subscribe to ISA Podcasts you'd click here and when you cl click subscribe you go to Apple's website and you'll there's a iTunes subscription box here on the right side of this iTunes Apple website store link if you click there you will download iTunes which after you download it's going to look something like my iTunes that's going to be popping up right now. Now why would you want to um, download iTunes? Well you're going to want to do that in case you're going to want to subscribe to um, any of our podcasts. So these are for example are some of the subscriptions that I subscribe to and you would have one just like this that would be like IASA professional development and it shows here that we have three podcasts that are available uh, for you from IASA to subscribe to listen to. This blue mark would signify that you haven't listened to it yet and it'll give you the name of the podcast, the time and a short description and the release date of that podcast. Now these aren't downloaded on your computer till you would click on any one of these to listen to it and it would come up onto your computer at that at that point in time. So I'm going to close out my iTunes in the iTunes store because I have it loaded on my computer. But you need to do both of those things first. Okay, so then if you did do both of those things and you have iTunes and QuickTime on your computer, then you can listen to ISA's podcast. For example, this is a video podcast that I got off of YouTube uh, that educators might want to use, and I know we're past the Opening Teacher Institute this year, but you might want to use it when you're working with teachers um, as the future goes on. So what pops up will be the actual podcast, and you can see what's happening here. There's a little description of the podcast here on the bottom, and then it, it's downloading. Now, a video podcast or some of these tutorials, some of these podcasts will take a little bit of time to download on the computer for you. But as it is downloading, this bar will then start filling in. And when you hit this button, this is the play button, and you can start playing the podcast. And I, you can hear the podcast in the background. Sherman from Charles Rice Learning Center.
Okay, now what what happened what is happening here is that the podcast isn't the video is catching up to the downloading of the podcast and it'll stop. That's why you need to wait a, a few minutes and let this download before you play it. That's for a video uh, podcast that would have a takes a lot of memory in order to pay it, play it. But here is um, a normal type podcast I do when it's an interview with an educator or somebody in the educational environment and I'm just doing an interview with them. This is an interview with Tim Barth who is going around the state right now uh, doing some IASA fluency workshops for us. And this is the way the normal podcasts work. Um, you'll see that there's, a, in this case, the picture of Tim um, before, before we start the podcast and it's downloading as we're waiting here and you can see that we have a short description of what the podcast is and you can see that this line is starting to fill in here so when I hit play this podcast will start playing Hello, I am Rich Foltz, Associate Director of the Illinois Association of School Administrators and we are speaking with Tim Barth who is the featured presenter at the IASA Fluency Project Seminars that we are hosting this fall at 13 locations around the state. Mr. Barth, would you please tell us a little bit about yourself and your background? Uh, certainly. Uh, I was born and raised in Southern Illinois and I worked in public education for... So you can see how that would work as uh, you're listening to these podcasts. And as we go further along in this particular podcast, I put PowerPoint slides behind the podcast uh, so you can see some words and it helps you as you're uh, listening to the concepts that they're talking about. Another thing that I do from time to time is I uh, do some tutorials. For example, this is a tutorial where I'm embedding video into PowerPoint on a uh, personal computer, how you would do this. And in some cases, I I have the video in a much larger box than you would see on that normal podcast box. And when this is the case, as you can see here, it's a much larger box to watch. And again, you can hear me. This is a very good thing to know how to do so that if you ever want to use videos and presentations, you won't have to rely on an internet access to go get a video. It actually embeds right in your PowerPoint and then you can play it by clicking onto that slide in your PowerPoint or as soon as that page comes up, it automatically will get started. The first thing you need to do is find the video. Well, I hope that has helped you learn how to play the ISA podcasts. We have over 45 of them that we have up on our website. Uh, if you go to the bottom of our website, you'll see that we, have, we list about the last six, and then you can go to archived uh, copies, and then that will bring you to the other um, podcasts that we have available um, on the internet for you to look at. So we have a whole variety of topics for you to look at and you might want to look at some of the ones we've done in the past uh, as well as pay keep uh, looking at the ones we're doing now our goal is kind of to do one podcast uh, per week so that's what our goal is for this year and most of the time they're on current topics for example I'm working on one right now about um, school board elections for the spring of the year and what the superintendent and school board secretary should know and be able to do for those elections. So thank you for watching this podcast on how to access the ISA podcast.